a composite gloves here. I got this snapping thing going on in this series. So this is the last, well, there may be more to this. I may add things as I see them necessary and I may redo videos. I reserve the right to redo a video to make it better. Um, I guess, I don't know why anyone would complain about that, but it's, it's out there just in case. This last one is on modulation. What is modulation? Modulation is a very simple idea. Um, and people use it wrong all the time. I use it wrong all the time. It's one of those things where people say things, they might mean it can mean a few separate things, even though it may not officially mean that. So they might say like, oh, I'm modulating this with the volume knob. Well, unless that volume knob is moving up and down as a signal, you're not modulating with volume knob. You're just, you're just controlling something. So what is, but in a form, it could still be a modulation. So it gets a little weird. So modulation is whenever you have one, one source, so let's say you've got your pitch moving up and down, and then you modulate that pitch with another pitch. So this pitch controls how fast this pitch moves up and down. And so as this pitch rises in pitch, this pitch will move up and down in pitch faster than it's, it's uh, an LFO, like turns volume on and off. An LFO will modulate your volume. So an LFO, oh, I haven't covered LFOs. That'll be in the next video. Anyways, it's a low frequency oscillation. So let's say that we've got something at 20 hertz, so a really slow wave. And it tells the volume to turn on and off as the LFO goes up, the volume turns on. As it goes down, it turns off. Or maybe it's vice versa. You could say that when the volume, when the LFO goes down in pitch, the volume goes up and vice, and you know, all that kind of jazz. So that's modulation. You're using one signal to tell another signal how to behave. So that's technically modulation. So you're going to hear things like amplitude modulation, frequency modulation. Those are just names for specific relationships that have become quite popular synthesis techniques. So... That's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.